Hello, my most amazing art students. So today we're going to be working on painting our Lady Liberty. And um, we're going to have to mix up kind of a special color. So you'll see me using my um, palette over here. She's not just green. She is a blue-green color. So we're going to be mixing some blue and green together. And I'm going to try to mix up quite a bit of it to start with because we want to paint her all the same color. This is a little bit tricky. Normally, I provide my students with um, the paint that's the color of Lady Liberty. So see how it's a blue-green color? Not, And I'm just going to paint over her whole um, body, her whole self. Not going to let any puddles um, pop up because um, this is this is going to be really smooth because that's you know she's made out of this copper metal that has weathered over the years. And I'm wondering if I mixed up enough paint there. Might she might be a little bit different colors. <laughs> I'll try to make it similar. Miss Buck didn't even mix up enough paint. I thought I had enough. Ah, oh, it's not too bad. It's it's quite the same. So paint all the whole thing, and while she dries, you're going to need a dark um, piece of of construction paper, black or blue or um, something of that nature. Well, this dries. And see, I, I didn't paint a lot of paint on her, so it won't take long for her to dry. Okay, I'm going to set my paint off to the side, and I'm going to grab my paper here. And I'm going to get my crayons. <clears throat> and we're going to make fireworks in the sky. Now, the way that I do an easy firework is that I um, draw a plus sign. And then I put an X through the plus sign, just like that. And I'm going to switch up my colors because fireworks have lots of colors. And I'm going to put them all over um, my paper, not just in one place and not in a line either. I'm doing it randomly. That's a word that maybe you guys don't know. And some of these will be covered up by... Um, our Statue of Liberty drawing, but that's okay. We're still practicing our fireworks. We're doing random fireworks. You guys can pick whichever colors you like um, to use. I'm even going to have this one hanging off the top up there. Um, just doing some random, random drawings of fireworks. Putting, ooh, here's a purple. I haven't used purple yet. Notice I'm not draw I don't want you guys to draw them in a line like this. Okay, don't do that. Just put them randomly. See how mine are random? And if you want to, you can make a, a couple bigger and a couple smaller. That's fine too. Um, here's a pink one. Make some small pink ones. But once you have... Um, I don't know if I used that yellow. Here's the orange color I haven't used yet. All right. I think I like how many I have on there. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. So, I'm close up my crayons. Put them to the side. She's not quite, quite dry, but she's not really wet. So, I'm going to turn her over. Get my glue stick right there. And I'm going to put glue on all these crown spikes all the way and then around the bottom. If you need to wait longer for yours to dry, then you guys can do that. Mine's not really. I was very careful. I'm going to grab my firework sky. I'm going to line 
the bottom of the paper up. Oops, you can't quite see. I'm lining up the bottom of the paper with the bottom. And I do that and I'm gonna turn it over and go massaging, massaging, massaging. Massaging, massaging, massaging. Massaging, massaging, massaging. And pressing down, massaging my Statue of Liberty. And there you have your Statue of Liberty all painted and with a fireworks night sky behind her. How awesome is that? Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you had fun drawing this and painting this with me. I hope you have a wonderful day.